I mean, can I even start a video without a little Parker footage? Hey, my sleepy girl. Yeah, that's quite the tooth you got in there. Oh. Okay, we're going back to old school days. I have no mic on here, no nothing. So uh, audio quality can be slightly diminished. But one of the very common questions that I get uh, on the health fitness stuff that I've been posting uh, is what specifically do you eat? So I talked a lot about uh, yeah, my hair is crazy, don't mind it. Um, about how it's like kind of an 80-20 split plant-based versus others. Um, so I thought I would show you what's in my house right now. Um, I don't live alone, so some of the stuff you'll, you'll, you'll see some stuff, but I don't really eat it and I'll try and like specify what I, I show you. This is soup that is almost <laughs> the odd. Uh, it's basically um, a Moroccan lentil soup, uh, which is really nice. Well, bam, if we swing around to my island here, you've got a little bit of accoutrement and a green bin, aka compost. So let's close that. Um, so these I talked about in my supplement videos, um, but so I won't get into that. But I got a whole bunch of bananas, acorn squash, some kiwi, some mango. Uh, avocados, I go through those like crazy. Mm, tahine, tahine, however you want to pronounce it, I adore it. Got some tomatoes, lemons, a very oddly shaped sweet potato that has a fruit fly apparently buzzing around, and some cremini mushrooms. And then the last bit of um, blueberries from this pack that I need to eat up. Pink Himalayan sea salt, uh, some good trace minerals there, and that's actually a red onion. So that's just sitting out on the thing, free to be. Oh, and then I also have some like, just popcorn. It's in like individual bags. Uh, and I do that because um, then I can take them to work. And I also have these because they're flipping delicious. And then we come into the pantry. So I have some stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I'll try and point out with mine. Uh, black beans are mine. Pickled beets, flipping dynamite. Uh, I do have these like smart sweets. This is part of that 20% <laughs> um, where it's not amazing for you, but it's better than regular candy and it serves the purpose when they craving like super hits um and then i have these they're so flipping good they're roasted peas dill pickle flavor as i just drop them they're really handy to take to work they uh, aren't too too crazy for you uh, i mean here's the ingredients so the sunflower oil i'm not a huge fan of but it does do the job in a pinch when you basically want like chips <laughs> Uh, in here, there's a little bit of a mixed bag of my stuff and not my stuff. Um, so this is a different version of that seaweed. Uh, this is for if and when I ever get sick and don't really have to make anything. Um, it's not too bad as far as ingredients go. Uh, and then I have some sliced jalapenos because they're so good. Um, pancake mix. Like that out of the way. <laughs> uh, some mixed nuts that are flavored. Some TVP, textured vegetable protein. Uh, got some cacao nibs. These are Brazil nuts. None of the rest of that stuff is mine. What's this? Uh, red lentil, green pea, chickpeas. This is black bean. Yeah. Black bean pasta. Um, this is like a whole bunch of like natural peanut butter and that's it for that shelf. So let's put this stuff back. Uh, and then this is my primary shelf. 
which is just everything. <laughs> so PB and me essentially is PB and two. Uh, pumpkin spice, I put that on everything. Some soy seasoning, some nuts, uh, some sauces. This is basically where I keep all of like my protein bars and stuff. Um, overnight oats, they're dynamite. All back here is nothing but beans, essentially. Uh, got some bittersweet chocolate and coconut. Um, got some nom bites. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> uh, some jams, healthy-ish jams. Uh, some gum. These are like my seeds and stuff. So quinoa, cacao nibs, chia, flax, uh, oatmeal. Um, these, oh, good grief people dangerously delicious i uh, got some rice um some more three farmers stuff these i don't eat very often this is like basically when i want to have chips but i don't have chips it's i definitely not great for you uh, i mean canola oil is really not good for you um, it's just sort of in, in that mix. It's sort of the, when I want chips, but don't want chips. Yeah. That's probably like the, the not healthy -ist option I've got, but that is what it is. Um, so it's just like a random bunch of stuff in there. And then all the way at the bottom, I've got some almond flour and then <laughs> Parker food. Um, so that's about it for the pantry. Now, if we whip around, Parker's like, what are you doing, mom? And we come into the fridge. So, also not healthy, but still do it anyways. Walden Farms pancake cake syrup. I don't use it very much, uh, but occasionally when the mood strikes. Uh, I've never actually tried this yet. Primal Kitchen Ranch dressing. Uh, and then some quote unquote good for you barbecue. It's okay. Uh, and then some pickles. Again, stuff that's not great for you because of the artificial sweeteners, but I have about one a day, one every other day. Uh, and then these are just more jalapenos and pickles. And then you got the main portion of the fridge. Uh, so Greek yogurt. I'm obsessed with some unsweetened applesauce. This is some cooked up quinoa. Uh, I'm gonna make a roasted red pepper soft tofu dressing. Uh, we've got some ginger. We've got some salsa back there, kimchi and sauerkraut. Better than bouillon base. This is hemp seed. Uh, got hazelnut butter back there and then more of this like chia jam stuff. Uh, I've got the baby spinach I'm working on, some healthy bread options from Queen Street Bakery. Uh, this is the one I haven't opened yet. More Greek yogurt, uh, egg whites, cashew milk, peppers. Uh, in here, I've got some cilantro, broccoli, cauliflower, and a zucchini. Over here, I got some an orange, a grapefruit, a couple different varieties of apples. And then in here, none of this is mine. Uh, I've got some eggs, some different kinds of variety of tofu. So I got some extra firm, uh, I got original tempeh. Uh, oh, I skipped over a spot too. Um, some smoked tofu, this is tuna, and some smart miso, uh, I love miso just flavors up everything. I don't eat tuna a whole lot, but if I do, it's this one um, because it's in water with no salt added and it is uh, wild. And yeah. And then I skipped over some more some smoked tofu. I love smoked tofu. I have some smoked tempeh and I do have some turkey cold cuts. Uh, and that's pretty much it. For my stuff, oh, I got some asparagus just chilling over here and my dishes drying and a big old bag of uh, Granny Smith's. I'm obsessed with Granny Smith's. Uh, and then 
that's where I keep uh, some of the supplements that I was talking about if you have not watched it already. And that is basically it. And that's pretty much all the groceries I have at the moment. <laughs> um, if you notice, most of it is like fruits and vegetables and then you have like the staples. So you've got like some canned goods. Uh, most of the canned goods I have are like bean related. Uh, I'm actually about to make this like huge bean dip salad mixture thing. Uh, <laughs> descriptive, I know. Um, and that's pretty much how I eat. So usually most of my meals, especially like dinners, I uh, will have like a, you know, some sort of carb. So whether it's brown rice, quinoa, something like that, um, some protein source, uh, sometimes it'll be like chicken, pork, uh, tofu, a lot of the time, sometimes tempeh. And then it'll have like a metric butt ton of vegetables uh, on top of that. Um, so those are like my typical dinners, uh, like snacks. Um, I like to do like Greek yogurt uh, with some protein powder mixed in and then some fruit in there. Uh, breakfast, like I said, if you, if you watch the nutrition video, I, I talk about those kinds of things, but that's essentially what my pantry looks like. Um, like all the tomatoes I have right now are actually from my neighbor's garden, uh, which is dynamite. We just went through a whole bunch of peaches and zucchini. Uh, from friends gardens and whatnots um, so I love the summertime because not only do we get free food <laughs> um, but it's like as fresh as it can get essentially so yeah that's, uh, that's about it just opening up a window letting in some more light but that's it guys that's that's an average look you know at my food choices my food the what I buy, um, nothing really out of the ordinary that I'm missing or whatnot, just kind of depends on what I feel like. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Let me know what your favorite healthy foods are. Um, oh, 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 oh. Hello, babes. She's come to join the party. Um, so in the freezer, this is my favorite thing. My favorite, favorite. I literally just pour out some cherries into a bowl and eat it frozen, like straight out of the freezer. If you ever want like a cold snack and you don't want like freezies or something, or like, you know, the ice cream sandwiches that are in here uh, that I would love to eat, but don't. Um, I got a bunch of frozen fruit and vegetables that all blend into things, but that's the only frozen thing that like I eat by itself consistently because yummy so yeah i'm obsessed with uh frozen cherries it gives me the because i always wanted to have like oh my god what is with my hair i always wanted to have like ice cream or something like that uh, after dinner and that was a hard habit to break um so frozen cherries comes in clutch it's delicious it's sweet and it's cold and that's really what i want um so that's, that's about it uh, with my crazy, crazy hair. <laughs> um, so let me know, yeah, what your favorite healthy foods are, whether it's snack, meal, don't care. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what uh, you would like me to dive into deeper health and fitness related. Um, I'm not an expert, clearly. I'm just learning as we go along here. Um, and then while you're letting me know what you want me to talk about, hit the like button hit the subscribe button. And if you're super dope, like super crazy dope, check out the link for my Patreon account in the description uh, if you want to help support me and what I do here. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.